Kampala traffic. Okay, the less the best. Do you have ganja? Yes. Time to. Family. Somebody's lying to me. Wow, great. Thank you so much. I've got a follower. <laughs> oh my god, it's hot. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is another video. Today's video is going to be all about traveling from Kampala up to Murchison Falls. So we're going to go and get on a link bus. So travel into town, get on a link bus and then do the travel and we'll probably meet some people on the bus. So let's get into the video. Kampala traffic. So there's two bus stations here, there's a baby coach one and then there's a linked bus station. So that's baby coach, but they're right next door to one another. Thank you so much. Cheers. This is the link bus station where you can get a bus to uh, to Marchison Falls, you can get a bus to Fort Porto, so we're gonna go in here and try and find the right bus and where to buy the ticket. Sorry. So our ticket to Masindi is the first bus that you need to get on to go to the, uh, go on the link bus. You need to go Masindi and then you can get to Murchison Falls. The price of a ticket to Masindi is 20,000 uh, shillings, which is like, I don't know, $7, something like that. All right. So I'm just about to buy my ticket and then get on the bus. Thanks. Hello, yeah, we're going to uh, Masindi. You are going to Masindi? Yeah. Okay, the last to pass. Okay, thank you so much. So this is the link bus. Alright, so do you know what time this leaves? It is so hot today. I had to change out of that top into this green one because it breathes a little bit better for the for the journey. Gonna go and get some water. Also, what is this? All right, guys. So that's us leaving um, the bus station, the Link bus station in Kampala. It's a five-hour journey to get up to Murchison Falls. Beautiful day, so it's not raining today. Most days when I'm traveling, it's like pouring down with rain. So, yeah, that's us set off. We're just leaving the, the, the town here. We'll probably stop off for some food uh, on the way. People usually come up to the windows and, and offer food. So I'm looking forward to seeing whether they've got, got any more ganja. It's my favorite. <laughs> what is the business? Huh? What is your business? My business. It's a boutique, guys. Hold on. Oh, soft furnishings for the house. Yeah. See? It is merchandise. Everything will be there. NTG. NTG Tegeki. Tegeka. Tegeka. This is my friend Tegeka. What's your name? Winnie. Winnie? Oh, that's a good Ugandan name. 
Philip. Yeah. Yeah, my brother called Philip. Your brother is called Philip too. Huh? Cool. I've uh, been here for three months. Yeah, I came here in January. I'm going to go to Kenya and to uh, Tanzania and then Mozambique. I'm going to take the bus all the way to South Africa. Oh, sorry. So. Scotland. This is the bus. <laughs> Kibali. Yes, I went to Kibali. Yeah. I saw. You mean in Western Uganda? I saw the chimpanzees. I say I went to because I went to Fort Porto. I saw some honey farms. What about the pig stones? The what? The pig stones? No. Oh yeah, I went to the the. Um, I went to the Crater Lakes, but I didn't see the big stones. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Very big stone. That's why they call it named Kibale. Oh, because Kibale, that is the... Is it not Chibale? Not Chibale. Chibale. So they called it after the stones. Ah, I see. That's why you are meaning you are that it. A big stone, yeah, a lot of stone there. Ah. The one where you dig. Alright. Find which is like that. Oh, I didn't see it. I did. I moved around, but not enough. Maybe. Yeah. Well, you can't see everything. Oh, well, next time I'll have to go back. Wow, look at these bikes. You have ganja? Yes. Okay. Can I have how much for? Three for how much? Three for how much? Three for how much? Three, how much? Three. Okay, I'll have one. Yeah. Oh. Two. No, sorry. One thousand. I'll have uh, three of those ones. Yeah, two of those ones. Thank you. You have my change? Okay. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Not for me. Thank you so much. Ooh, gonja. Mm, no, no, no. Love that. This is one of my favorite things to eat on any trip that I take here. There's actually multiple different types of banana. This one's a particular one that they seem to always serve at the windows on these trips, so I'm glad they had it this time too. There's a storm brewing. It doesn't last for long here. One minute it's all sunny, and then the next minute it's about to pour down with rain, so that's rain season for you in Uganda. Everyone's running inside from the rain. No, thank you. <laughs> right. okay, crazy times trying to cover everything up. At the last minute. I had such high hopes for today and it's just turned into a terrible, wet, windy, rainy day. Oh wow. Ooh, some juicy pineapples. Hey guys, if you haven't already, um, hit the subscribe button on my channel and hit the like button on this video if you're enjoying it so far. Also, I've just started a Patreon account where you can support me to continue to making these videos. This is a labor of love and I really, you know, appreciate anyone who watches any of the videos, has subscribed, has liked, 
has you know done anything to support but if uh, if anyone has the means to support me to continue making these videos i'd really appreciate if you could just click the patreon link below and uh check out some of the the offers the the packages that are available there to become a member of my channel and, and help i like i say continue to help me to to put out this content for you so thanks so much what do they put? They put pineapple skins? Mm, pineapple skins, but they, they keep like for one week that they will like that. This is going to work. They will use one. 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 They will use you cook it. You cook it? Yes. The skins and then? You can mix it. You mix it. This thing called the Jenga Woods. Jenga Woods? Jenga. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. You mix it in Jenga. Then you bring out. You, you, you sieve it. Uh, after, after cooking it. I see. You sieve it. Then that juice is what you need. Ah. And then what power does it give you? It just fixes yourself. Because somebody was telling me about Malondo but giving you manpower. You know Malondo? Do you do you take Malondo? Do you take Malondo? Do you feel it gives you power? Malondo. It's like ginger. Like this, but it's all. Yes. So, uh, you eat those whatever. <laughs> but make you makes you strong. Makes you strong. Makes me a strong man. So, uh, they like it. You like it? I took it. I took it with sugar cane juice, beetroot, ginger, lime, and then malondo. And then when I bought the juice, they told me it gives you manpower. You become a sharp man. You become a sharp man? <laughs> okay, it's not like that, but it's good. It's healthy. It's healthy for you. I see, I see. Alright, we've got another food stop. No more food for me. I need to lose some weight. <laughs> The landscape here is very, very beautiful. There's only one up here as well. There's a small lake again. There's a small lake? Lake. A lake? Lake. Can we see it? Nice. Well, anyway, guys, we're about to end up in Masindi and then we're going to get off this link bus and then we're going to uh, transfer onto another bus to go to Murchison Falls. So that's the next stop. All right guys, that's us just arrived in Masindi and we're gonna get on a Boda Boda and try and find a taxi uh, to get on uh, to go up to Murchison Falls. So never been in Masindi before, but first impressions, a few shops going around and lots of uh, Boda Boda drivers waiting to pick up people from the bus, so. So much for it being a beautiful, beautiful sunny day for traveling. There's now a river running down the middle of the street in Masindi. Everybody's run out and they're all sitting inside of this area trying to keep cover. So I'm gonna need to chill out here for a little bit, wait for the rain to go off and then walk around to the hotel. So it is what it is. And the lightning's gonna strike. No! I'm gonna have a quick Rolex to eat. Alright, guys, um, I am in Masindi now. It's the next morning. And Matthew is driving us from from Masindi up to Murchison Falls. So, do you, usually, do you do this all the time? This is like you're taking people from Masindi up to yeah, Murchison Falls a lot? Twice a week. Twice a week? Yeah. And what's the price? Right, from here to without game drive, twelve thousand. Without game drive, without game, without uh, without any activity. Yes, just two hundred. Without activities, about between four hundred and six hundred. 
depending. Ah, I understand. Yeah. I understand. All right. Then so even on the days you're going to spend there, right? there are more it. days and then more. Got it, got it, got it. Got Much it. as part of the accommodation and food. All right, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. All right, so we're just going to uh, drive up there and uh, check it out, go for a nature walk, etc. So I think it's like a, what, hour and a half drive? So let's go. So let's get this straight. There's a boat trip, yeah. but you can't take the boat you can't trip and then climb up. Uh, no, you can't because water was too much and swept everything where the, the, the boat could dock. Okay. Yeah, it was swept. But it is but it is possible to go there, drive to the top, yeah, hike down. You hike down and then you hike back. And then hike back up. Yeah. Mm. Okay. But you pay fifteen dollars. How much? Fifteen for hiking. For hiking but down. But the fall you you watch free. You can just watch it for free. Yeah. From the top. Okay. Why do you pay for hiking? Just because it's using the yeah, land. It was designed for that. One okay. of the activities that is Do you have for. to pay extra money to enter the top of the falls though? Yeah, well, no. You, once top you're in the, the park, you're in the park. When, when you part the top of the falls? Yeah. I mean when you part you, you the entrance of the park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you are free to go and watch at the, uh, the top of the falls to see water and everything. Okay. But if you want to hike, yeah. hiking is designed to be payable. You pay $15. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. How much is a boat trip? The boat? How much is a boat trip? The boat is about thirty-two dollars. Thirty-two dollars. Yes, for 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 the frontiers. Per person. Yeah, per person. Not for for local Ugandan. For local Ugandan, you pay thirty thousand. Okay. But on all boats, the the wildlife authority boat. But for the what kind of boat? Uganda wildlife authority. Uh huh. It has its own boat. Oh. So you pay thirty-one dollars. Yes. At the a Vista. Okay. The foreigner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then for Ugandans, you pay thirty dollars. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Ugandan I see. I see. I see. Yeah. What language do people speak here? In uh, in this This part? is the Bunyoro sub region. Renyoro, yes. Renyoro. That, okay. That side you'll find many people Western. I mean, people from the Western side are rural. Okay. So yeah, they are multi tribal. It's just where you're going. The number of workers who are multi tribes. Multi tribe. Yeah. So tell me about the king. Yeah, the king. Right now, the king is called Solomon. Okay. Yeah. But the father, the strong, the father was a strong man called the Kabaleka. Kabaleka. Yeah. In the history, he resisted the the, the colonial masters. Oh, he was he was a resistor. Yeah. Ah. Refused for the British to come and take over here, so he got, they got much resistance here. Mm. Many they stayed in the Kampala, that's so why you see Kampala is developed because uh. Uh, the whites settled there. Oh, so they were. And the administrators were on that side. Okay, okay. So they said they would come to fight to Konkamua areas. Okay, they were too tribal here. Yeah. Too strong. Banyoro, yeah. <laughs> their king resisted. It's a nice road here, yeah? Yeah. The road is very... Uh... It has just been designed. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. I thought it was going to rain again today, but it didn't. It's going to be raining at night. You think it's going to rain at night? Yeah, probably to be raining. Ah, okay. I think we've met some friends. Hello. It's a whole family. Do they ever try and steal things? Yeah, they keep guarding. They do what? Neighbors keep guarding. Oh, they keep guarding their gardens. Oh, really? Yeah. All foods. Ah. Yeah. Fruits. So this is where we buy our tickets. Yeah. You're going to pay from here for the entrance. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you pay forty dollars and then flash it. All right. So this is the entrance to Murchison Falls National Park. What are the rules? Don't camp, don't drive off the tracks. <laughs> Amazing. You've got a little craft shop here. Can I see inside? Yeah. Is there a light? Wow. 
They've got some stuff here. They've got the flags. They've got little. I'm not the owner. Oh, I you see. are the owner. Who, people who bring the money. To yeah. Pay. <laughs> because uh, for me, I don't buy them. Oh, okay. So but then me, I bring you the money, and then I'm the owner because you, I'm the one that's buying these yes, beautiful yes, things. Yes, yes. I understand. <laughs> well, I'm not going to buy anything today, so so I don't own this beautiful shop. But I hope you find some more owners. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna. Pick. You're gonna tell me how much it is. Okay, so I think it, what did you say? It's thirty-five. How much dollars for me? Forty. Forty dollars for me. Okay, great. I'm going to pay in shillings though. So. Yeah. Okay. I'm done. Okay. What is the latest you can leave the park? You open at seven and close at seven. So either you come very early in the morning or you come around this time at night and then you drive there at six o'clock and then you stay the night and then you wake up very, very early in the morning to uh, come back, so. Yeah. You look very smart. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> look at these crazy plants. They're growing off the tree. What the hell is this? <laughs> Very strange. That's where you're going to sleep? I think so. Yeah. It's a good hotel. Oh yeah, he's the guy. He's the guy. The main guy that owns it. Yeah. Oh really? Oh, I see. Are there loads of these guys here? Oh, I just got scared for a second. All right. Crazy thing just happened. We just stopped off to buy the tickets for the Murchison River Lodge uh, Safari Park. And I bumped into a guy called Chris. It turns out he is the owner of Murchison River Lodge. And I told him about my YouTube channel that I'm trying to, um, you know, show people Uganda and uh, he's offered to give us a night in the, the Murchison River Lodge uh, and we're going to do a video of that so uh, check that video out it's probably going to be one of the next ones I'll put it here once that video is available and I can't wait because it's meant to be a beautiful beautiful lodge in uh, Murchison Falls so funny things happen Budongo Forest Budongo Forest yeah. wow and the rain's coming in already oh good so this is and falls. We've got some more friends here. Wow, there's so many of them. Do you have any good facts about Budongo Forest? Yeah, it's the biggest forest in Uganda. The biggest forest in Uganda? Yeah, and it has some um, uh, gyms. Yeah. So, they, the, I, I forgot to show you where they do some gym tracking. Oh, they do gym behind tracking. about yeah. to, uh, 70 kilometers behind us. Ah. That's where the, 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 the camp is for gym tracking. I see. Yeah. And birds. Oh, the beautiful birds watching, watching yeah. Also, at the same point there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see, I see. Wow, it's And cool. now you can see each other in here. Yes. Where the forest is. Oh, so it's a so rain forest. So when you visit the forest, you're going to find when it has not rain, where we've come from. Yes. And ahead of that, has not rain. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But it keeps raining here, just this forest. Oh, and that's why it's so green and lush. Yeah. Ah. Wait, when I went to Jinja, I was on the travelling on the way there and somebody told me that Mabira Forest, which is on the route to Jinja, yes. is the biggest forest in I all of Uganda. You Google. <laughs> you Google. When you get the hotel, you Google and see. Right, okay. Oh yeah, we can. Because, yeah, just a small portion of it that extends to the park here. Yes. But it goes past Hoima. Ah. It goes up to Kiba the same. Right, okay, yeah. okay. Well, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have to fact. Have so many here. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm gonna fact so, yeah, fact when, check this. I'm gonna fact check it later. When you get the hotel, maybe uh -huh. you have or internet. Yes. You check. I'll get forest in Uganda. I'll check and I'll be like, and then I'm gonna uh, call you. Know, you. Yeah, well, this is a forest. There's no rain here. There's no rain. Oh yeah, there's yeah. no rain. So this is now Savannah Plus. Savannah. Wow. Yeah. We've we've gone through the full full range of. Uh, but it's not savanna. It's not savanna. It's. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, grassland. It. Okay, but you, it still has trees. Yeah, so we're moving it. It's not counted part of Odong Forest. It's not. 
Okay. okay. Down and some grass yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to have to call you out publicly as incorrect on oh. my YouTube video if you're wrong okay. about this. So okay. I don't want people to. But I know. Are you, are you 100% right. sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Right, okay, okay, okay. Well, well, we will see. We will see very shortly whether I'm this is correct. I'm going when I'm leaving. I don't know. Somebody's yeah. lying. Somebody's lying to me. So. Okay. <laughs> Did they just recently do the road up? This road? Yeah. They, they, just, they, just, they just recently made it yeah. like very fast and very They're nice. not even done. They're not done yet? They're still working on other parts. Oh. Yeah. See, like see. when we started the gate, you saw? Yeah. At the gate. Yeah, yeah they were still. Part, part of Maro. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's good. Then even at the extreme end of the road, they're still working. Okay, okay. Yeah. So this connects to Arua. Arua? Yeah. Ah. The place called the Pakwaj. Pakwaj. Yeah. Okay. I think that side. Yeah. So it almost starts from here. Oh, so this is the river. You van. can see from the other side, you can see the other land on the other side. The, the, the eastern lift valley is part of Kenya. Okay. It covers some part of Uganda and Kenya like this. Yeah. Then the Eastern River is this side of Lake Albert. Oh. Is that going straight up to Lake Albert like that? Yes, yes, yes. The, the lake that side. This is called Albert. This is going to be a great view, though. Yeah. What? Can we get out and take pictures? Yeah. What? Where's the best viewing spot? It could be. Uh, is this we are the best? Allowed to come out of there. We're not allowed to get out of the, the car? car. Okay, okay, okay. So it goes like that. You can see that depression. Yes. Right down. Wow. Great. Beautiful views. Thank you so much for stopping. Welcome. That was the Rift Valley. Does Uganda have a lot of oil? It does, but it has still on the exploration process. They have not yet bought the finished products. Uh, okay, so they don't have refineries? No. Just crude They're building, oil. they are just for building. All right, we've just turned off to a little, another little random road yeah. here that slightly less better quality than the other one. So how far, le how far do we have left? Uh, about six kilometers. Six more kilometers? Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> that was so good. The rangers all sleep in here. Center, like the hospital type thing. That's cool. For this white one, uh -huh. you'll have to keep it tomorrow. Oh, I keep that. As soon as you enter. Okay. So I keep this one. I yeah. give the green one. Yeah, this green one, you're leaving it here. Okay. All right. That receipt is very important. Yes. It shows you that you paid. Okay. So you you don't give it to anyone. Okay. When you come back, you just show them. I see. That I, I see. paid. You go with it. Even at the other exit. Yes. When you're coming out, you show them. Okay. I was there at 5.15 yesterday. Yes. I'm coming out. Okay, okay. So that is yours. Yes. You have. Even tomorrow, you'll go with it home. Okay. Yeah. I'll put it on the wall. If you lose it. I'll frame it. If you lose it. Yeah. You pay again. I pay again. Unless you go to where we ended from, they check your names. Yeah. Ah, they are, you're in the book. They I will see. They not make you pay. But here, you can they not know that. Can they not phone? What? Can they not just phone them? Uh, you maybe you can leave, they can follow up. Yeah, they can On call. Phone, maybe. Yeah. But you may make some delays. Yeah. Okay, we've just arrived at the River. We get it. Okay. I'm good. My name's Phil. Philip. Cheers. Yeah. Sam, Thank you so much. You, yeah? Wow, great. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Oh, yeah. That's, in, that's incredible. We're going to go and check out the little monkeys. They're going to run away from me, I think. Wow, it's amazing. They're so close. He's having a little scratch. Look. He's feeling that tail of yours. Itchy. Ouch. You coming over? Oh. Hello. Oh. 
not. We're interacting now. All right, I'll leave you alone. I've got a, fo I've got a follower. <laughs> I've got a follower. Wait. Where are you going? You see coming up to follow me. This one's following me. Look. Oh. Wow, this is amazing. Wow, look at this view. Incredible. All right, so I've just found a little bench that's actually looking very cute for eating things as well in here. So check this one out. Beautiful little dining area. People could just sit and relax and look at that beautiful view. What? I cannot believe that I just met Chris in the, in the entrance to the place and now I'm sitting here looking at this beautiful view. It's incredible. Wow. Gonna have such a great time staying here. <laughs>